is very, 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 very good looking. Where's he going though? Like, can you, can you come back? Where'd he go? Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In the last episode of the Royal Family, we had King Henry propose to Lady Ava. It was also the first time she had met the kids, but the kids seemed to love her a lot. But King Henry ended up proposing to her because his kids got along so well with her and she said yes. And then they had this big royal dinner feast ball thing celebration to celebrate the fact that they are engaged. So they invited all of King Henry's relatives and all of the royals and the other kingdoms, including the queen and Princess of Sulani. They did invite the King of Sulani, but he didn't end up showing up. But we will get to see him in other videos as well. But in this episode, so I wanted to focus a little bit more on the teenagers. I wanna focus on the fact that Princess Leilana of Sulani did get invited to join the Royal Teen Club. So I want her to join and she's going to get to meet all of those teens. And then also I want her to invite her cousins to meet the Royal Teenagers as well. So they will all get to meet her. And then maybe we'll get to find some sort of romantic interest going on for for Princess Leilana and then also get to focus on the romantic interests of the other teens and their relationships as well. So if you guys are excited for this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. Starting at the royal family of Windenburg, I did forget to mention that Lady Ava moved in to the Windenburg castle so she can get to know the kids and obviously live with King Henry before they actually get married. I have not downloaded a wedding venue yet, but I will definitely start looking for that so I can find one for them to get married in because I'm super, super excited for that. I don't know, it might be the next episode or the one after that where we have their wedding, but it will be a little bit later on. So I am so excited, guys. They're very, very cute. I do want to change change some of princess oh my gosh I'm gonna call her princess Ava now no she's gonna be the queen I need to get in the, the habit of calling her queen Ava but I do want to change some of her outfits so that she has the purple and pink outfits of Windenburg but I'll probably do that in in the next episode or so so we are going to just have them finish up their homework I guess we can start a kids gathering although they would all have to go to school in like a few hours so maybe I'll just skip ahead to when they go back or when they come back from school but actually while they're doing Doing that we could probably check in on some of the other noble families too i mean like nothing's really changed but the family of oasis springs with Prince Michael and Lady Helena. Lady Helena moved into the castle of Oasis Springs. Oh, wait, I went to Willow Creek. She moved into the castle of Oasis Springs a few episodes ago. I, I don't actually know if we should go to them because nothing's changed. The Lord of Jay is here and that is Prince Michael's son. And then Lady Helena is still here too. So, I mean, not much has changed with them. When he turns into a child, then we could definitely go back and see him. But other than that, we have, ooh, guys, it looks like, ooh, wait, what? It looks like Duchess Jill had another, Wait, no, no, we knew that, right? Right? Did we know that? Well, why don't we go ahead and age up her baby? I thought that she had like another baby. Wait, did she? Yeah, she did. In, the, in one of the other episodes, she had another baby. So we'll go ahead and just age that baby up and do a toddler then. Oh, right. Okay, so she had Lady Harper. So that's her baby. So we can go ahead and age up Lady Harper into a toddler. And I just like totally, totally forgot. I was so like confused when I saw that she had a baby, but I forgot that she had a baby a few episodes ago. So. Oh, there is that. Oh, wait, Lady Harper. Oh, oh, she already aged up. Oh, I didn't even see her age her up. Okay, so Lady Harper has aged up into a child. Let's do random. I like this whole random trait picker thingy now because I don't have to worry about like having the responsibility of picking a child's personality. We have a Lady Harper. She's wearing like rain boots with her dress. So I feel like I need to change that. She looks exactly like Duchess Blair, actually. She's got the dark hair and the blue eyes too. So that is, oh wait, guys. Oh my God, wait. She's pregnant again. She's pregnant again, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm debating if if I want to sh if we want to like actually know who Lady Harper's father is. I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments below if you want me to show you who the I don't even know who the father is. So you guys can tell me in the comments below if you want me to show who the father is, if it is King Adrian or if it is Duke Harrison. And then we're going to have to find out who Duchess Jill's third baby is. We know that Lady Isadora is King Adrian's daughter. 
So, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. Let me know if you guys want me to tell you, because I don't want to like, I don't know. It's kind of interesting that it's a mystery. I'm sure most of you will want to know, but I just kind of like that it's a mystery. It's just interesting to me. But it looks like she's not even in her third trimester yet, so she still has some time before she has her baby. Oh, it looks like she's going to work right now, too. But oh my gosh, guys, she's super, super cute. So I, I will go to Manage Worlds to see if there's any other families we need to update, because I kind of do this every once in a while, and it's nice when we're like waiting for the teenagers to come back from school that we can just like do our little noble family updating. So I think that's really all the families that need to be updated. I mean, you guys have seen Lord Benjamin and Lady Cara who are also King Adrian's bastard children. So they are living here at the Duke of Voices Spring. So the Duke doesn't actually know that those aren't his kids. Although I feel like it's kind of obvious just because his daughter is blonde. If you guys have a specific family that you want me to update you on, then I definitely can, but not very many people has aged up just because I have all of their lifespans on long. So I do know that our teenagers will be aging up pretty soon, like at some point, but Definitely not for like another couple episodes or so. Okay, so the royal kids of Windenburg are back from school, but oh my gosh, Princess Amira is inviting over Princess Leilana, you guys, that's awesome. And the, oh, oh no. And Princess May is inviting over Prince Johan. Oh, guys, guys. If For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, Princess Amira is engaged to marry Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay, and she's supposed to become the future queen of Brindleton Bay, but her sister, Princess May, has a thing with him, and they're like, they really like each other, and Princess Amira has no idea, and she still hasn't found out yet, and it's been so, so long, and I actually had gotten a notification that it's almost Princess Amira's birthday. I definitely, yeah, it says it's almost Princess Amira's birthday, birthday and I checked and she still has like eight sim days before that happens but that's gonna be really soon you guys like probably she's gonna turn into a young adult like right after the wedding so oh my gosh also okay I have a dilemma you guys are gonna have to help me with this so I have these portraits in the throne room of all the past kings and queens of Windenburg and I don't know who to pick so like right now Queen Al oh I didn't even realize that Queen Alice's portrait is still up there. So I figured when uh, when Ava becomes queen, then we're gonna like just, just save the picture, like put it in our inventory or something like that. But then like, whose picture do I put here? Cause I can only fit two. I actually need the wall to be like bigger. Like I'm gonna have to expand this room or something. Or maybe I should just like build some, I don't know. I, I wanna figure out what to do. Cause pretty soon it's gonna get to the point where I'm gonna have so many portraits. I'm not gonna know what to do with them. So I don't know whose picture to put. Like, should I put, Queen Alice's or should I put the future Queen Ava's? I don't know you guys. You guys are gonna have to help me and let me know what I should do with that because technically with Queen Alice, she's the mother of the future King Prince Kellen. So I feel like her picture should be up there, but I don't want Lady Ava to be like forgotten, you know? And I, I it would be hard to put three pictures. Like maybe I could put like, maybe I could put like one on top of the other, but that just doesn't look right to me. So yeah, please tell me what you guys think. Cause I definitely need some suggestions on that. But so now all the kids are back. Princess Amira, like despite her not very good personality, she's actually very, very responsible. And she's like practicing her piano right now, even though she invited over Princess Leilana. And I don't actually know where Princess Leilana is, but while we're on that, why don't we go ahead and just start a team gathering? Princess Leilana just became good friends with Princess May, you guys. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I think, mm, so I have started coming up with some outfits for the kids or just all the Sims of Sulani. So just for now, I think I'm gonna change her into, well, no, her, her party outfit's like super fancy. Maybe her warm weather outfit, cause it's, a, um, I don't know. I forgot to pick an everyday outfit for her that was a little bit more covered. Cause if she's in like Windenburg, if someone sees her, they're gonna be like, oh, whoa. Like, you know, it's just gonna be like a little like shocking to see someone with like, like just like a bralette sort of thing, like a crop top. So I think I do need to change her outfit, but I'll do that later on. So with the other Sims though, like her cousin Makai, I did pick a, ca a casual outfit that is a little bit more fitting, like it still covers like everything. So you guys will get to see that in just a moment. So I have started the Royal Kids Club gathering. So I am going to do MC Command Center and I'm just going to like teleport her cousins onto here because I'm not playing from Princess Leilana's point of view right now. So I'm going to just teleport her cousins here. Okay, so I have teleported Princess 
Princess Leilana's cousins here. So this is the first time that our Sims are meeting her cousins and they are also teenagers. I just invited the teenagers. I didn't invite the kids because she does have other cousins who are kids. But this is the first time that they're meeting. Oh wait, hey, this is uh, Princess Anna's husband is just here. So I don't know why he's here. Um, So they are here and oh gosh, guys, Princess Megan, she's so beautiful. They're so pretty. I'm so sorry, I'm getting so distracted, but I am gonna have Prince Kellen say hi to her and give her a kiss or something. Oh wait, yeah, go to romance and embrace her. So her cousin Makai, let's be real guys. He is very, 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 very good looking. This is the first time that all these Royal Sims are meeting him. Do we think that any of our teenagers are going to be like, whoa, hold the phone and like be super, super attracted to him? Cause I don't know. So, and you guys are also going to have to tell me what you think should happen with Princess Amira and Princess May and Prince Johan, like that little love triangle. Cause honestly, I'm kind of stumped that I don't really know. I don't know if if maybe Princess May would tell Princess Amira and then Princess Amira would either take it badly or she would be understanding and like ask her father if like Princess May can marry Prince Johan or if like one of them or like maybe Princess May will just find someone else that she likes like maybe she likes Makai. So I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think about that or maybe Makai would just marry someone totally different. I mean I have no idea. So I'm also going to play from Princess Leilana's point of view at some point in this episode because I do want to try to find someone for her as well. Maybe, should I just do that now? Well, no, I'll do that later because I want our Sims to meet them. Let's do friendly introductions to them so everyone can meet them and then I will probably switch over to Princess Leilana at some point too. Oh, it looks like, oh, I forgot Prince Kellen does know, Ma oh, oh, wait, I don't remember him meeting Makai yet, but I guess he has. So yeah, well, it looks like, oh gosh, guys, it looked like Princess Megan was just staring at him very intently, <laughs> but her boyfriend's right here. Prince Kellen is right here too. Princess <laughs> Megan is supposed to be the future queen of Windenburg. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Oh, but good. Okay, so Prince Kellen is in range to learn, the, to have the good manners trait. So that's good. Okay, so now it's Princess Amira's turn to do a friendly introduction. And we know how big of a flirt Princess Amira is, guys. So she's flirted with a ton of boys. So I think she's at least going to flirt with him, but like she is yet to actually be serious with another guy. Oh my gosh. So when they introduce themselves, they're like automatically friends with the Sims. I wonder if that's a glitch. Cause I know that happens usually if you do like a polite introduction, but is it also because she's a celebrity maybe? I don't know, but I do think she is going to start flirting. Maybe ask him if he's single and then maybe you guys could should like go sit down somewhere cause you're kind of in the way of like everybody right now. Okay, so Princess of the talking to Makai and then Prince Johan is standing right there and is like, um, hello, I'm your future husband. Like, are you seriously about to flirt with this guy in front of me? Like she just asked if he was single in front of her too. Okay, so Princess Amira is talking to Makai right now on the couch. I don't know if she's like actually, oh, it looks like she's kind of flirting with him and he seems super into it, you guys. Oh, he's blushing. You guys, he's blushing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wow, that was really quick. I didn't really have to do that much at all. They're just like talking and he's super into it and he's blushing so hard. That's actually really, really cute. Princess of the Mirrors actually are also blushing. So, oh my gosh, you guys. Ugh. Okay, maybe exchange numbers. She's like, hey, you're really cute. Can I get your number? Where's he going though? Like, can you can you come back? Where'd he go? Oh, okay, okay, Never mind. I found him. Okay, so Princess of the Mirror is going to go ask for his number, which is pretty bold, I gotta say. So she's gonna go ask for his number. Is he gonna give it to her? I think so. I think she's about to kiss her phone because they do that. And it's a little bit strange to me. Like you would never do that in front of the person you just got the number from. You would never do that. Okay, so Princess Amira and Makai are are looking at, I guess clouds or stars or something. Probably stars because it's a little dark right now. But guys, they're, they're like getting along really, really well. Like, I think this is the first guy that, Prince, I mean like, well, before Princess Amira had like just gone to people's houses and like found a guy and just started flirting with them. But this one, I feel like she like saw him and was like, oh my gosh, wow, you're attractive. And then she got to know him and she's like, this kid is really cool. Like, I like him a lot. So I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think about that. Oh my gosh, you guys, Princess May and Prince Johan are also cloud gazing, but like on the other side of the castle. I mean, this could just be taken as friendly, honestly, but their their relationship, their romantic relationship and everything is so high, you guys. Yeah, I definitely need some suggestions on just like the, the future of this relationship and what you guys think will happen with them because
because Princess May could like flirt with other guys too. And like, I mean, her dad was so set on Princess Amira marrying Prince Johan, and I'm not exactly sure why. I think just because she was the oldest, but he hasn't really focused on Princess May and like finding someone for her. So maybe he would like find someone for her and like be like, this is who I think you should marry. And she would be like, um, I don't know about that. Like, I feel like she just needs to work up the courage to tell her dad that she is in love with Prince Johan because I think they are in love. Like their romantic relationship is so, so high. And then guys, Prince Kellen is just like <laughs> over the shoulder of Princess Megan as she's playing. I think he should probably like play with her because <laughs> he's just like sitting there. So they're super cute too, you guys. I think she would make a great future queen of Windenburg. Okay, so I do want to switch to the control of, oh, oh wait, it says Princess Leilana just became good friends with Princess Amira. Oh my gosh, you guys, wait, she's not, oh, okay, she is playing with Princess Amira. I was like, she's not even here. Oh my, oh, they're not best friends. That's Princess May. I was like, wait, they're like best friends. Oh, and Makai's leaving. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess he's not technically part of the Royal Kids Club, so that makes sense, but like, or Royal Teen Club. Um, but, oh my gosh, I can't believe how good of friends they are. So I do want to go ahead and go um, play from the point of view of Princess Leilana. I would have gone to like create a sim and like go to her, but then I, I have to always like change her name when I do that. And it's kind of irritating. So, although I do want to like find a different outfit for her just to wear like, outside of Sulani. <sighs> so I think we're gonna do that. I'll just do that now and then I'll change her name later because I have the longer name cheat mod, but then when you go to create a sim, well, I'll show you guys in just a minute. Okay guys, so I'm debating between this dress and I would have to change her jewelry around or this one. I feel like for like a princess, Prob like this seems like a warm weather outfit, but like a warm weather outfit that she can wear in public. So maybe I will do that. But like this one doesn't seem like, I, I feel like since the King of Windenburg or, or since her father, King Mahaka has kind of been like talking with all the other Kings and meeting everyone from the other kingdoms. I feel like he's learned a lot about their culture. And I feel like he told like his family, like, hey, we should probably get like other outfits, like order them from the other kingdoms and like wear these in public when we go there, just because our outfits aren't technically and like it would be the same thing if any of the other kingdoms like came to them They would probably want to wear something a little bit warmer and like not as fancy Otherwise, they'd be seen as like what are you wearing? Like that's not what we wear here So it's just a little bit different So it's just like getting used to the different cultures and like trying to assimilate and everything so I think I am gonna go with this one I feel like the pink is not really her thing. That's definitely something Princess Amira would wear or ooh, ooh, Or well, no, I like this one better. I think yeah yeah, we're gonna go with that. And then I'll just, I'll just change like her accessories and stuff. Guys, I also, I just want to show you, I got flower crowns and I found, it was so funny because I like went to Pinterest. It was the first thing that came up. I found crowns that you, that like came with the Island Living Pack. And I was complaining in the last episode how, or not the last episode, the, the Sulani episode that the, like it has to be a, the hair where you wear the flower crown. But oh my gosh, guys, someone already came out with a mod where you don't have to. Like you can just wear, wear the, the flower crown and you don't have to wear that specific hairstyle with it. So I'm so happy. Like this makes me so happy. And I mean, obviously this would not go with her outfit right now, but I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was so, so cool. I'm so happy. Like that was so quick. That pack like just came out and someone has already done this. So that's amazing to me. So I just wanted to share that. But I also did download some other crowns. Some of you guys sent me a bunch of stuff, which I'm, I appreciate so, so much. So I just wanted to show you guys this too. I don't think she would be wearing a flower crown, right? Right now, but I, I want her to have some sort of little hair accessory. I feel like she might end up just keeping the flowers in her hair because I feel like she would do, like she can wear that. I think that's fine. Oh, although they do have these like gorgeous, gorgeous earrings too that are really cool. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. I'll go with the flower crown. Now we have uh, her every, like, this is an everyday outfit for her to wear outside of Sulani because I don't think she would really wear this inside Sulani because I mean, one, she's got kind of like a jacket with it. Oh, oh yeah. So this is what I meant. So the cheat, like, when you leave, it's like, no, her name's too long. And then you're like, ugh. So it's a little irritating. And then I have to go back to her and play from her and then like press rename and then just rename her. It's a lot, it's really confusing. Okay, so we are now playing from Princess Leilana and she does have her, oh wait, yeah, oh yeah, I didn't change her name back to Leilana, so it's just Lei right now. So I need to do rename and then 
Princess Lei Lana. Okay, so back to normal. If you ever see her name as just like Lei or Lana, it's probably because I was just too lazy to change it back after I had changed her outfit or something. So I don't know, like, I'm trying to think who Princess Lei Lana might be be good with. So we do have like, like most of our royal teens are kind of in, like, like expected to marry someone else. So for the most part, we do have people picked out for them. But I mean, things can always change too, guys. So I think the only one right now is Prince Jack that doesn't have anyone that we thought would be good for him. I think so. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure he was flirting with Lady Helena. Or was it Lady Katarina? Oh, I don't remember guys. But then like things weren't working out with them. Like I could not get his relationship to go up with anyone at all. So, I mean, he is single, he's 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 free. So that's someone. And then obviously Prince Michael, is, oh, that's Prince Francisco. But for Prince Francisco, we're trying to get together with Princess Belle and then Prince Michael, wherever he went. But Prince Michael is off the market because he has a child and is supposed to marry the baby's mama when they grow up into young adults. So he's definitely for sure off the market. Um, Prince James was kind of had a thing with a one of the other noble girls in one of the other worlds and I kind of have like a little bit idea for him later on too so we'll get to focus on him more in the future but yeah I mean so really it's like Prince Jack and then like that's kind of it right now so we'll just have to see guys I'm not a hundred percent sure what's going to happen with that wait guys who is this Lord Jade whoa 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 wait Lord Jaden Brindleton. Oh, wait. Who is he? Who is he? Oh, he must be the Baron's. Oh, they grew up. Oh my gosh, I remember the Baron had like, they had kids. Like they had like two boys and one girl or something like that. So this must be their oldest son who grew up and I didn't even realize that. Wow, he looks good too. I don't even remember picking his outfit. Okay, so I'm going to have Princess Leilana talk to Lord Jaden. Ooh, maybe she should ask him to Stargate. I don't know, she like just met this kid, so probably not. Maybe maybe just brighten his day. Um, So I feel like since I know the other kingdoms with the families and the kings and queens, they're very adamant about their children marrying like, like they would prefer a royal for sure. And like they probably do want, I feel like the current kings and queens of all the other kingdoms except for Sulani are probably trying to get, if they have a son, they might be trying to get their son to marry Princess Leilana because of the fact that like they would get to unite with her, like with her kingdom. I feel like Princess Leilana's parents wouldn't be as strict about her specifically marrying a royal. Like I feel like they would be fine with her marrying like really whoever she wants maybe, just as long as they're like respectful of their culture and like try to keep up with the culture and everything because they do want to keep their culture alive in their kingdom. So I think that they might be more flexible about it. So I feel like Princess Leilana might have a little bit more flexibility, but I also feel like she does have a lot of kings and queens who are trying to get their children to kind of woo her and all that stuff too. So we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. But you guys can let me know what you think. If you think Princess Leilana, if she should try to go for Prince Jack or if she should try to go for, what is his name? Lord Jaden. Um, so you guys can let me know what you think. Or maybe if there's another sim out there that you think she should go for, you can let me know that as well. But I think she'll just have to kind of see like she might have to just like go on dates with them and see who she gets along with better so we'll just kind of have to see about that but maybe she could like invite them to her kingdom and like have like a kava party or something like or take them sailing or something as like a date i think that would actually be really really cool so guys i think i'm gonna end this episode here if you enjoyed it give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and i will see you guys in the next episode bye